Colby Covington just got embarrassed, okay? Now, I don't think he got beat up that badly. I'm going to be honest. He got schooled, all right? He got shown levels. Leon Edwards outclassed him, and I picked that to happen. I said 49-46. That's the exact prediction I gave. And even though this was a boring fight, I'll admit it, I was smiling the entire time because everything I said in the buildup to this fight came to fruition. And I couldn't help but smile while watching it. But, guys, we got to address this, okay? This is why I say it's an embarrassing look for Colby. It's a great look for Leon, but he's also not going to gain any fans. People are going to applaud Leon Edwards for putting the trash talker Colby Covington in his place after going at his dad. He even said that he cried after the press conference, which is pretty crazy. I actually didn't think that that would have happened. And it's impressive that Leon Edwards was able to stay cool, calm, and collected during this performance. But... Man, maybe he should have got a little bit more emotional and he would have let go a couple extra strikes in the later rounds to gain some fans. You know, you would think he might actually want to get some fans. But listen, amazing performance from Leoni made Colby look like easy work. But Colby Covington shot his pants early on in this fight and embarrassed himself and let down his fans in his last ever title fight. Because listen, it's easier said than done to go out there and let your hands go against Leon Edwards. And he's never been in front of someone that's as high level as Leon Edwards on the feet. That's in their prime. Six foot two, fainting, throwing kicks that are not telegraphed, setting things up well, keeping distance perfectly, not putting their back up against the cage and allowing you to trap them there. There's a lot of skill involved. And I said this in the buildup to this fight. Colby has never dealt with anyone like Leon Edwards. Leon's just proven that he could beat someone like Colby two times in a row. Right? He proved that he can make Usman look silly on the feet. The only difference between Usman in that trilogy that we just saw where Leon shut him down and Colby is that Usman actually pressured forward and we saw Edwards get forced to throw lots of volume. Colby Covington, we already know Edwards usually fights down to the level of his competition, gave Leon no reason to really throw that much volume. And that's kind of the shame when it comes to Leon's style. It's because like, if you don't do much, he won't do much. And Colby Covington didn't do fuck all in this fight early on. And he had ring rust. He came out looking confident. He was beating his chest. He was pointing to Trump. And I was saying to my chat, holy shit, Colby actually looks real confident right now. The last time he walked out after a long layoff, he looked like he was shitting his pants going into that Usman rematch. And he paid because of it. He got knocked down. He was able to rally later on in the fight. But the fight starts... He looks the same way. Yeah, he doesn't get knocked down, but he's just not good enough to close the skill gap. And he wins the fifth, but that's it. But guys, Colby Covington needed to take risks to win this fight. All right? It's it's pretty obvious, right? You got to take some risks to win a fight. But Colby Covington, he's got to land those strikes upstairs to set the takedowns up. And for someone that's as good at keeping distance as Leon, that doesn't take risks that's got such good movement, that has a reach advantage, that has a height advantage, for someone that's that hard to get to, you have to fucking just let your hands go, man. You've got to start throwing those awkward looping overhands to set up the takedowns. You've got to get like four or five or six of them stuffed. Colby failed to put that pace on Leon Edwards. And the reason he didn't want to do that is because he may have gotten KO'd trying, okay? obvious again like we've heard this shit before but that's why Colby Covington lost the fight and got shut down on the feet bro he wasn't really out here trying to shoot that many takedowns and he even got taken down a couple of times in this fight too which is another thing that people were underrating about Leon is his grappling is the size advantage he has is the jujitsu advantage that he has Colby took Leon down I think in the second round and Leon popped right back up to his feet and he stuffed a couple of takedowns effortlessly early on, and Colby needed to be aggressive early, and he shat his pants and embarrassed himself, and this is the last time he's ever going to fight for a title, okay? He didn't take that much damage, he didn't get the shit beat out of him, but he clearly lost and got shown levels, and it wasn't just because he's an old man, okay? People have been overrating Colby Covington for a long time. People have been saying that this guy is going to go out there and melt the elite fighters 
Colby Covington's never dominated anyone elite. His best win was over RDA, 35 years old. Former lightweight champion, fair enough, but still 35 years old. And it was a 48-47, like a really close fight, where RDA was taking him down a couple of times too. And that was a competitive fight. This idea that Colby melts people, you've got to just bring up examples of old men that are on losing skids, for goodness sakes. King of Miami, you know, Jorge Masvidal. The guy ordering dominoes on the couch, seeing what the 304s are up to. Like, the guy's priorities were all out of whack. Jorge Masvidal is just some street guy that, at the end of his career that was just money hungry and kind of lost hungry as well. Happened to be 37 years old, looking like an orangutan on the skills, really. Former lightweight with a big pot belly. You know, we're talking about Tarn Woodley and his rib cracking and giving out midway through the fight. His body just gave out because he was old. Robbie Lawler. You know, this ain't Robbie Lawler, man. This is Leon Edwards in his prime. And that's the thing that we have to understand now. It's like, Colby is a good fighter. Again, a good fighter that has been massively overrated because of his dominant performances over old men that are all on losing streaks. Except for RDA, of course, who wasn't on a losing streak. But RDA, let me just be honest about this. He's not even close to the level of Leon Edwards. I know that there are some, like, super hardcore fans they are going to be saying, what? wow, you're just a casual. You don't think RDA is on the level of Leon? No, fuck no, he's not. RDA is not even close to Leon Edwards. It's a one-hit wonder, okay? RDA was real good at lightweight at one time, had a decent run at welterweight. RDA's not really beat that many elite guys in his career. And I think we can stop saying that about Leon at this point. Who is Leon beat outside of Usman, the second greatest welterweight of all time, of course? But who is he beat outside of that? Leon Edwards just defended his belt for the second time at welterweight. RDA has one title win and was 35 fighting up a weight class, man. He was kind of not the biggest guy in that weight class. I think it's time that we give Leon Edwards some credit. He just beat Usman twice, okay? And I'm going to say this that's also going to piss people off, okay? I think he can pass GSP someday. I think he can. Again, there's going to be people freaking out in the comment section. Oh, blasphemous. He's saying he can pass GSP. GSP fought for a title in his second or third ever UFC fight. The difference between the guys that are champions today is it takes them like 10, 11, 12 wins to even become a champ in the first place. And a lot of the wins they get on the rise are kind of similar to the title defenses that the champions in the old head days were getting. You know what I mean? GSP's average title defense was like Leon Edwards' win over Donald Cerrone. Okay. Like Leon Edwards' win over RDA. That was like the average title defense for guys back in the day. And guess what? He has a head start because he just beat Colby Covington, who's a real good fighter. I'll give Colby his credit. And he beat the welterweight, second best fighter to ever do it in Kamar Usman, twice. And he's on a 13-fight win streak. Okay? And no, he wasn't given the fortune of fighting for a title in his third ever UFC fight. But you know what? I don't think he needs that if he beats. I'm not saying he's better than GSP right now. Holy shit, I'm not saying that. If he beats Shavkat, which I think he can, Shavkat spent like eight minutes trying to take down Wonderboy Thompson. It's going to be a lot harder to do that to Edwards. If he beats Shavkat, Bilal, and maybe one other guy, man, he's definitely going to be past Usman. And Usman was on the cusp of passing up GSP before he got head kicked. It was like a win or two away. And he's already proven at this point that he may be just better than Kamar Usman skill-wise. He beat him twice. But we've also got to talk about something else that's obvious, okay? Yes, people are going to be happy about Edwards getting the job done over Colby Covington, who a lot of people hate now more than ever because of his comments about Leon Edwards' dad. But in a few weeks, when the dust settles, I think that we are going to start to think of Edwards as that same boring champion that doesn't sell his fights. And this is the issue with Leon Man, he really could have thrown a couple of extra punches or kicks because he hasn't done himself any favors with these performances. Again, it's going to take a really aggressive fighter to bring the best out of Leon. His performance against Usman in the third fight was a lot better than tonight because Usman was forcing him to throw because he was putting pressure on Leon. But if Edwards continues to have performances like this, okay, if he fights Bilal Muhammad, that's a similar stylistic matchup, and he has another boring performance— People are really going to start to dislike him. We had the same issue with Adesanya, where people hated the fact that he was having these boring, stink-fest decisions where he's just doing enough 
to win every single round. But the difference between Edwards and Adesanya is that Leon doesn't have that same kind of like dedicated cult-like following because he's not a polarizing guy with a strong personality. You know what I mean? I don't like a guy like Adesanya. I'm not a fan of him. But he fought all the time. He was very active, more ac active than Leon. And he was polarizing. People get emotionally invested in his fights. People are really going to start to dislike Edwards as a champ. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't sell fights. He's not marketable. I'm not talking about the fact that he doesn't low blow people at press conferences and talk a lot of shit or whatnot. But that is a, a small part of it. Not the low blows, but he doesn't really talk a lot of smack. Okay? He just does no promotion in the offseason. That's his issue. Edwards goes into hiatus more so than Yuri Prohaska in the offseason. Okay? And he's not really out here KOing people or knocking them out to make up for it. So... I think that even if he continues to defend his belt, he's going to be one of the most hated fighters in the UFC. And that's just how it is. Like, maybe he'll be less hated than Adesanya, fair enough. But I think he might start to enter into that Bilal Muhammad status, to be fair. So, I hope that that's not the case. I like Leon Edwards. Kind of just because a lot of people dislike him, right? As soon as someone starts to get disliked by the majority of MMA fans... If I don't think it's for the best reasons, you know what I mean? Like, he's a boring fighter. Fair enough. I agree with you. He seems like an all right guy. For whatever reason, I kind of root for people like that sometimes. Remember Volkanovsky. Granted, he wasn't as boring as Leon is today when he was fighting Max for the first and second time. Those were some decent fights. But he wasn't as entertaining as the guy that we think of today after the Ortega fight. The classic third round with Ortega. The TKZ fight. The Max Holloway 3 fight. The two Makachev fights, okay, even though he got KO'd, the Yair Rodriguez fight. Back in the day, people were talking about Volkanovski as a decision merchant. Ah, he's just a little bit more boring than Max. Everyone was hating on him, and I became a massive fan of him even before the Ortega fight, okay? I like Leon Edwards, but I think he is boring, and man, he's not gaining any fans from this performance when the dust settles and people kind of get past all of the trash talk that came from Colby. The main event kind of disappointed. I actually thought it was going to be a, a more competitive fight, and I thought it was going to be a little bit more fun than that. Even though I still predicted a 49-46, I thought that Edwards would have just done a little bit more, and Colby would have done a little bit more. Either way, I got my pick right. I'm going to rant about the Pantoja fight tomorrow. Horrible performance from Pantoja. Bryce Mitchell got sent to the Shadow Realm, and we're going to talk about all this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's my main event recap. Look forward to doing a video on the full card tomorrow. So until next time.